Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm finally going to be showing you my Notion setup as well as sharing my templates. So by now, I'm sure most people have at least heard of Notion, but if you haven't, essentially Notion is your all-in-one organization app with various different features such as pages, databases, calendars, to-do lists, Kanban boards, and much more, which then allow you to experiment and create a personalized organization system for you or your team. Before I get into the video where I show you my setup, thank you to Notion for sponsoring today's video. So let's start with the basics of Notion. Um, once you have an empty page, you can change some basic settings of it. First, you can customize the emoji and banner associated with it. So you can use default ones or add your own. And for most of my pages, I believe I just went with the default since they looked pretty clean. Now, if you go to the three dots at the top right, you can customize your text font and size as well as the width of your page and various other factors. You can also choose to favorite the page using the favor button right next to the three dots and what this will do is that it bumps your page to the top of all your pages on the sidebar to the left. And one last thing is when using Notion, you pretty much have to use slash to bring up any commands. So as you can see, you have the basic headings, to-do list checkboxes, to the more complex tables, Kanban boards, databases, embeds, media, and all of the colors that they offer. Now, it might seem a little bit awkward to get started with, especially with using the slash, but it's definitely really easy to use and very convenient once you get used to it. So now let's get into the actual setup. Um, so here it is, this is my homepage. It's basically a directory of everything I have in my Notion page. I actually used to have all of my pages as their own separate thing on the sidebar, but I realized that was just too hard to keep track of. So I made this little cute and cozy page and went for a nice beige white color scheme. So my page is split into three columns, starting from the left. This is the super chill stuff, just setting up the vibe, you know. Basically, I have a picture of a cup of coffee and my chill study playlist, which also happens to have a cup of coffee as the cover photo. Totally not a coincidence. Moving to the middle column, those are the files that I access most frequently. First, I have a separate page for my university and YouTube stuff. Then I have a little subtitle with a brown background for all of my pages related to planning and habits, which include a daily and weekly plan, my journal page, and goals for 2021. Below that, I have another picture to just space things out, and then followed by most of my reflection-related pages. 18 in 18 was a reflection that I wrote on my 18th birthday, motivation just for the small things that I put together over time. 2020 is a reflection I wrote at the end of last year, and ugh moments is just the not so glorious moments of my life, where I essentially write about my problems that I don't want to talk to people about. I feel like that makes it sound really bad, but it's just very small things that really bother me in the moment, but in the grand scheme of things, it's really not a big deal. Then in the last column, I have more pictures and a few personal pages. One's literally titled personal where I store up and not so important information about myself, um, a workout tracker, cute pictures from Pinterest and other sources, as well as post-COVID plans. Then below that, I just have a page titled finance. Definitely not as fancy as it sounds. It's really just a table that tracks my spendings. And now that I've summarized basically my entire directory, I'm going to show you guys a couple of the pages in detail and exactly what I have in them. And at the end, there'll also be a template for everything that I talked about in this video, which you'll have access to in the description box below. So going back to the university page, let's click into it. So in here, I pretty much just have more pages. And what you'll notice from the homepage and onwards is that the overall vibe and organization just becomes very simple as I focus more on the practicality of things over the aesthetics. So the first page is a pre-uni to-do list. I made this in the summer right before my first year, which was only four months ago, but it's pretty much just a table of tasks I needed to complete, the deadline, whether I've done it, as well as extra notes and links, and some have the plus emoji, which essentially indicates that I've expanded it as a page of its own to add more notes. Going back, we now have the course selection page. Pretty much, I just have the course name, code, and the number of credits, as well as the term I'll be taking it in. I've also listed whether or not the course is a required prereq for future grad school or other things, so that's that. 
Moving on to extracurriculars, I don't think I'll go into this one just because there's a lot of personal things in here and for the more structured pages that I have, I've included that in the template so you guys can directly reference that. Then I have my yearly pages, so let's just go into the 2020-2021 page. In here, you'll find all the courses that I'm taking. My setup is the same for most of them, so I'll just show you one example. Let's go into chemistry from the past semester. First, I have this call-out box, which shows when my lectures are, and if my classes have other components, like tutorials, I'll also write that down in the box. Scrolling down, first, I just have a whole lot of resources for from professors, past students, or just stuff I found online. Then we get into the table about the course content. So for the headers, I've included the date, lecture number, title of the unit, and the class type, as well as a checklist for all the components of the course that needs to be completed weekly. Then I finally just have a column where I upload all of the relevant files. And like I said, I pretty much did that for all the courses that I could, except for some classes where it just didn't have enough material for this. I basically just dumped all the files into the page. Before I exit my uni page, I'll mention one thing, which is about why I don't take notes in Notion. If you saw my recent video, I utilize a table to take almost Cornell-like notes, and unfortunately, Notion just doesn't seem to work. Specifically, when it comes to using a table in Notion, you just can't seem to have different bullet points. But if I did have that function, I would totally do my notes in Notion, because then everything would literally be in one place. Anyways, then I just have a page dedicated to my first year goals which I believe is just a numbered list, so nothing special about that. Okay, moving on to my daily and weekly plans. Personally, I don't utilize a daily plan a lot, maybe only when things get really overwhelming, but if we click into it, you'll see that I have this board set up. I put in some tasks this morning, mainly to show you guys for the video, because like I said, it's not something I use every day, but the idea I had with this board was to make it look like a sticky note wall, and once it gets done, I'll just drag it to the done column, which is kind of the same idea as ripping it off your wall. I don't know, that's something I used to do in real life, and it worked pretty well, so I thought I'd just migrate it online. And as you can see, I have split them into three categories, so university-related, extracurricular, or personal. And then below, I put a little hourly plan thing for time blocking, which is also something I only do when I get really busy. So there we have it for my daily plan. Now, as for my weekly plan, I've actually shown this in a few of my previous videos, so it's finally here. Um, up top, I have a place for writing a little inspirational or motivational quote, followed by the dates of the week and a call-out box for some of my favorite songs at the moment. Then we get into the actual weekly view, where I have Monday to Friday laid out horizontally, and I dedicate one color per day to highlight the event or lectures that I need to attend. Then these emojis each represent a different course, which if you remember from the uni page I showed, that's where things match up. And then I've also set up this little button where it would help me start a to-do list. So now if I just click on that, I'll get a little checkbox instead of having to do slash every time. Then below the five days of the week, I have a column for my weekend to-dos, a running to-do list for pretty much anything and everything that comes to my mind, as well as upcoming events and deadlines for the weeks ahead. And actually, this page I'm showing you here serves as my own template because what I'll do is duplicate this specific page each week and use it, which is also why I've inputted all of my classes already since they occur weekly so I don't have to waste my time every week putting them in. And that's it for my weekly plan. Pretty simple. Um, I'm now going to show you one last thing in detail, which is my journal page. Now, if you click into it, it might seem very overwhelming at first just because there's so many pages. Despite how tedious it is to set up these pages, I really like the whole idea behind them. So obviously, each page is dedicated to a single day, and the emoji you see is basically a mood tracker, which I think would look super nice once I had the entire month filled out. Now, I didn't want to have all of my journals in one page just because I tend to write stuff all over the place and insert 
pictures like everywhere so I just thought this would be more organized and easier to look back on and that is pretty much it for my setup now as I mentioned already I'm not going to go in detail for the rest of my pages just because they have either a very simple setup so usually just a running to-do list or bullet point or the fact that they're so personal to suit my own needs so once you familiarize yourself with notion and how it works you can really play around and set up a system that works for you now like I said I have templates for basically everything I mentioned in the video so the whole directory setup as well as the individual pages I talked about in detail you can download notion as well as find my template using the links at the top of the description and if you have any questions feel free to comment them below or send me a message on instagram at revising and that is pretty much it for my notion setup i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did don't forget to like subscribe and consider joining my discord server and i will see you guys in my next video happy organizing bye guys